OK, so let's say I want to find exact values for sine of 105 degrees, cos of 150 degrees, and tan of 15 degrees. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to utilise the two triangles that we need to remember. So we've got those two right angle triangles, 1, 2, root 3, 60 degrees and 30 degrees, and second one, 1, 1, root 2, 45 and 45. Now, sine of 105 degrees is the same as sine of 60 plus 45. So I can utilise the compound angle formula up here to say that sine of 60 plus 45, where the A is 60, the B is 45, is sine of 60 degrees, cos of 45 degrees, plus, so plus here, uh, cos of 60 degrees, sine of 45 degrees. Now, sine of 60 is opposite over hypotenuse, so root 3 over 2. Cos of 45 degrees is adjacent over hypotenuse, so 1 over root 2. Cos of 60 is adjacent over hypotenuse, so 1 over root 2. Oh, sorry, 1 over 2. And sine of 45 is 1 over root 2, or 1 over root 2. Either or. Okay. So we've got root 3 to over 2 times 1 over root 2. So we've got root 3 over 2 root 2 plus 1 over 2 root 2. So that's root 3 plus 1 over 2 root 2. Okay, and so that is the exact value of sine of 105 degrees. Now, you can type sine of 105 degrees into your calculator, and uh, on this class whiz, uh, it actually gives you root 6 plus root 2 over 4. Uh, you can get that by multiplying top and bottom by root 2. Okay, but you cannot uh, guarantee that your calculator will, is going to find every value for you. Okay, you need to show the process. Cos of 150. So 150 can be gained by adding 90 and 60 together. Okay, so um, cos of 90 plus 60 using this formula here will be cos 90 cos 60. Now, because that's plus, this must be minus sine 90, sine 60. Now, cosine of 90 degrees, uh, thinking about the curve, is 0. So that's 0 times, well, we'll find cos of 60. So that's adjacent over hypotenuse, so 1 over 2. Sine of 90 thinking about that, so sine of 90 is actually 1, and sine of 60, opposite over hypotenuse, so root 3 over 2. So this is just minus root 3 over 2. Okay, so checking on your calculator, cos of 150 minus root 3 over 2. Okay. If your calculator is giving you a decimal value, you can always type minus root 3 over 2 to check that you've got the same result. And then finally, tan of 15. So tan of 15, we can get 15 by subtracting 45 from 60. So tan of A, so tan of 60, uh, because that's a minus, this has to be a minus, so tan of 45 all over 1. Now, because that's a minus, this is a plus. Tan 60 times tan of 45. So tan of 60 is an opposite over adjacent, so root 3. Tan of 45, opposite over adjacent, so 1. 1 plus. Tan of 60, opposite over adjacent, so root 3. Tan of 45 was just 1. So it's root 3 minus 1 over 1 plus root 3. 
calculator, tan of 15, gives the 2 minus root 3, which can be found by multiplying top and bottom of this by 1 minus root 3, so rationalising the denominator, and you should get to the same result.